What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 210 of the Monday Night Wars. I am Chad Talks, and joining me is the king of Rat City himself, J Mac Gaming. Uh, rat! I, I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did nothing wrong. We're here at uh, we're here at Great American Bash. There I did some things, uh, There's maybe some good things going on here, and uh, you know what? We'll just start the show. We'll we'll just jump into it. Um, what did I do wrong? Well, I'll tell you because Larry Zabisco comes out. Why did he come out? He what does he have to? He, he comes out. He says, "Eric Bischoff um, had something he had to take care of uh, on Monday, and uh, he still isn't back yet. So uh, I will be filling in um, today. I'll be making sure things go according to plan. He did give me instructions um, that I that I was I was told I must follow to to a T. So uh, you know I'm gonna do just that. And." Uh, First things first, uh, well, um, if you guys are watching, if you guys uh, have watched and been keeping track, uh, Osmo Dragon isn't here tonight. He, uh, he went to the other company. And, uh, you know, uh, really unprofessional of him. And uh, so here's what we're going to do. We have stripped Rey Mysterio and, and Ultimo Dragon of the Tag Team Championships. Uh, Rey has a partner. Rey went and uh, got, got a partner. And... Uh, Ray and that partner will face off against Alex Wright and AJ Styles tonight. And uh, the winning team will become the new uh, Nitro Tag Team Champions. Um, we also are, gonna ha are having an open challenge. Uh, Nitro Tag Champs. Or the Thunder Tag Team Champions. We're also having an uh, open challenge for the television championship match. That'd be fun. And uh, the main event of Ric Flair versus Randy Savage. <laughs> uh, Randy Savage voiced concerns for his health because uh, uh, above board Randy's refused to do a ladder match because he thought it would get him injured uh, maybe he's still tra traumatized after the ladder match with Sting uh, where Elizabeth turned on him but uh, <laughs> he says so that match is now a last man standing so sure. alright fair play fair enough uh, enjoy the show I'll be around and that was Larry Zabisco and in our opening match, we have the Cruiserweight Championship match. And the Bucks had decent wrestling, but didn't have much heat. Dean Malenko defeated Big Poppy Chavo in 1435 by pinfall with a super gut buster. And Dean Malenko makes defense number two of the WCW Cruiserweight title. Uh, good for Dean. Uh, Dean Malenko then celebrates in the ring, in the ring with his Cruiserweight Championship. Ah, the WWF way. All right. Um... Now, for the Thunder Tag Team title match, <laughs> AJ Styles and Alex Wright versus Rey Mysterio and the returning Buff Bagwell. Ugh. Yes. That two can play at this game, Justin. Oh, Chad, I fired him. Yes, and I hired him. That wasn't me. You. That wasn't you stealing people right from your fucking well, hands. Buff, Buff Do you want to know why Buff got fired? That man's running around with illegal steroids. Well, well now he's running around with a legal Thunder Tag Team Championship. Because they won? In a decent match, <laughs> Rey Mysterio and Buff Bagwell <laughs> <laughs> defeated AJ Styles and Alex Wright. When AJ Styles pinned Alex Wright with a springboard huracarana. Hey, what did Chad Santana my show? Oh, look, you're pushing WCW. <laughs> W guys. Buff Bagwell was mine first, you fucker. Yeah, but he was mine last. And Rey Mysterio Jr. and Buff Bagwell win the WCW World Tag Team titles. This is a random team. This was yeah, if it was anyone but Buff, I would be cool with it, but <laughs> like, not like Conan, not like I'm not gonna lie, Conan, Parker. there was a minute where Conan was slated to do it, but then I said, fuck it, I'm gonna do Buff. Because Buff is the stuff. Could least. have brought anyone over from... Fucking oh, you know Ray Mysterio. Dragon, but some asshole took a Couldn't bring in so, like uh, Ray Mysterio Sr. from AAA. Match. Oh, sorry. Uh, Ray and Buff celebrate in the ring with their new. Well, now you're really stealing my gimmick here. <laughs> it backfired with me uh, on WrestleMania. Four in a good match. Billy Kidman defeated Sting in 1501 with a shooting star press. Yeah, Sting took the job. Yeah, clean. Had no no problem with it. Good for him. And Billy Kidman gets a big win against Sting. Good for him. And then Billy Kidman celebrates in the ring. Mm -hmm. All righty. Our TV championship open challenge. And about that did have much heat in terrible wrestling. China defeated Norman Smiley in 10-22 <laughs> by pinfall <laughs> with a powerbomb. And makes defense number six. Gotta push the all these WCW, WCW guys. Show. But then Larry Zabisco comes out. And uh, he has a really sad look on his face. And he says, reading directly from the script. 
China, you did a really good job in that match, but unfortunately, that was not the open challenge. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, oh, whoa, whoa, Norman Smiley sustained a fractured skull. <laughs> Just yeah, there like that was in the open challenge because you murdered him. Uh, and then Chris Jericho rolls her up and wins the WCW World Television Championship. Looks to the camera, mouths, thanks, Eric, and runs to the back. Hmm. So Chris Jericho is the new World Television Champion. Justin, what do you think of that? Uh, I don't like it. You didn't see it coming. Uh, no, I, I didn't, I guess, but I didn't. I don't. Doesn't mean I have to like it. And in, a, in our next match, Dreamer versus Sabu, and about that had decent wrestling, but not much heat. Sabu <laughs> defeated Dreamer in 10:07. Okay. Uh, this was a hardcore match. Uh, by pinfall with a triple jump moonsault. During the match, we had Diamond Dallas Page running and attack Dreamer. And I like Sabu him. wins the WCW Pure Title, and then Dreamer or, or Diamond Dallas Page irate. Uh, Fights Dreamer and they brawl to the back. Diamond Dallas Page just mad as hell after uh, being embarrassed last week. Okay, I'm down with that. I like that storyline. We have our fatal four way match for the Universal Heavyweight Championship. Speaking of storylines, I hate. They got a 77, and in a good match, Ahmed defeated. Ah, boo! WCW, guys! Look at all these fucking Fed guys getting W's in this fucking pay-per-view. Oh, no. Oh, I, I did not pick who took the pin. Uh, Ahmed pinned Chef Psychosis with a spine bust. Yeah, you fucking ruined that and guy. You are a fucking heel of the, of, of the TW title. universe. I did not purposely have Chef Psychosis take the pin, but that did happen. You're a jackass. After the match, Ahmed celebrates <laughs> with his Universal Championship. Mm -hmm. Good for him. We go backstage, and there's a brawl. There's a brawl backstage, Justin, between Lex Luger and Sid Vicious and Mang and the Barbarian. Nice. They're brawling in the back, making a big mess of things. And now the WCW World Heavyweight Championship match. Justin, who do you think is going to win this, Goldberg versus Hogan? Oh, man, I'm hoping. Uh... Wait, what? What's after? Is this the co-main? Yeah. Well, actually, Scott Hall is in the back with Hulk Hogan, and he's talking him up. He's saying, listen, I know you can do this. All right? It doesn't matter if he's undefeated. You're Hulk Hogan, and you're... No, for real. Is this the co-main? Yeah. What happened to... The United States Championship. What happened to Raven Steiner? Oh, shit. I forgot. I was, I was so fucking mad I forgot. <laughs> Pro, uh, you can, uh, whatever. Never mind. I'll book it up for Thunder. Nitro. Continue. Uh, whatever. Uh, well, okay, well, my bad. Anywho, uh, yeah, Scott Hall and, uh, and Hall Hogan. Hogan's going over them, Hall brother. And Hall and Hogan are really yucking it up, uh, giving him a big pep talk. I sort of got if Goldberg wins this fucking match, I'm leaving the room. And in an exceptional match, Goldberg defeats Hulk Hogan in 10-14 by pinfall with the spear. Ten-minute match. And Goldberg wins the WCW World Heavyweight title. For f the fucking state of your company. Uh, Goldberg celebrates in the ring. Got a 69. What'd the match get? Uh, 75. <laughs> I mean, that's better than my world title. And our main event. Ric Flair versus Macho Man Randy Savage. I'm open, I'm pulling for Flair. Last, I'm, hoping, I'm pulling for Randy win, but I standing. hope Flair wins. Well, when you refuse to do the match that you were booked for. <laughs> oh, Ric Flair's going over, you're brother. You're going over. Because in about that fantastic heat and great wrestling, Ric Flair defeated Randy Savage in a one versus one last man standing match in 1958 when Randy Savage could not beat a 10 count and Ric Flair makes defense number one. Of the WCW oh, yeah. World. Let's go. Of the WCW United States Heavyweight title. Randy Savage, gone from Thunder. Good. Ric Flair celebrates in the ring. And that will end the show. It got a 79. Ugh, yikes. <laughs> yikes. But besides forgetting Raven and Scott Steiner, which was a very dumb thing for me to do. Yeah, that was a big match. Big match. I was hoping. I mean, that's got to be ran on Nitro now. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be ran on Nitro. I hope. Well, it's just... We ran out of time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chad. Let's... I knew I forgot something. I said I'm forgetting something. Yep, you were. But anyway, that'll be that's a great American bash. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, 
and uh, we will see you guys on Nitro. Raven versus Scott Steiner, number one contenders match. That's happening. Be excited. Uh, it's so big, I made you win an extra night. <laughs> what a shit show. Uh, bye.